people ask when it's going to go off, if we ever hear anything about it. A charming coffee shop in West Yellowstone. The locals aren't concerned at all. <laughs> Sits on the edge of the world's largest super volcano. Remnants of recent super eruptions make Yellowstone National Park extraordinary. Yellowstone National Park has about three billion or so years of geologic history in it. In those billions of years are three important points, super eruptions, 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 640,000 years ago. But when is the next one? There's always that question. There's always that fascination. Unknowns lie beneath the beauty in the countless chambers of magma, an active volcanic system. Scientists say a super eruption would blanket most of the U.S. in a thick layer of ash, sending the earth into a volcanic ice age. Rumors of that looming possibility started swarming when a swarm of earthquakes shook Yellowstone this summer. We located about 2,800 earthquakes. Um, in that swarm. So it was, it's probably, as far as number of earthquakes, it's probably the second largest swarm we've ever recorded in Yellowstone. Nearly 300 miles from the park. And these are all Yellowstone seismometers. This is um, real-time data, so coming in from, from right to left. Researchers at the University of Utah keep a close eye on the caldera. We have a, a continuous monitoring network in Yellowstone. So we have about 30 seismometers that are collecting data all the time. Um, about 100 samples per second. Most of their research is centered right here at Old Faithful, and that's because of how reliable it is. A lot of their sensors are buried right in that hillside. And we're constantly locating and, and finding out um, how big these earthquakes are, where they're at. An operation seismologist at the U have led since the 80s, working closely with those at the park. Our relationship with the University of Utah Seismic Group and Jamie Farrell in, in particular and Bob Smith is integral to our um, work here as in monitoring the volcano. The question these researchers hear often, when is the supervolcano going to erupt? The likelihood of uh, this volcano, Yellowstone volcano, erupting in our lifetimes is very, very tiny. But what about the earthquakes, the studies, and endless headlines? And Yellowstone is very popular in the media um, all over the world. So anytime something happens in Yellowstone, um, typically it gets blown out of proportion. With all the confusion these rumors are causing, geologists say before that supervolcano erupts, there will be three things that will happen. Increased seismic activity, um, increased ground deformation, and then changes in the hydrothermal system or increased uh, gas output at the surface. And all those things have to happen at the same time. Geologists say we'll have some type of advance warning, but Yellowstone's past doesn't give enough information to guess when or if it could go off. Three big eruptions is just not enough, enough data to make a statistical call. A lot of unknowns, but not enough to keep Utahns away. I don't worry about it. If it affects us, it affects us, right? I mean, we're all blown up. We're all covered in ash, but I don't worry about it. I don't think it's a concern. Well, can you think of a better place to be if it actually happens? <laughs> no limping away from that one. While that threat is always there, as for now, the volcano alert level is normal. I am the park geologist. I live and work in the park. I have no plans to leave the park anytime soon. You are safe here.